What's going on, guys? It is your boy, Dumzo Danino. And welcome, welcome to part number one of Sonic Adventure 2 for the Xbox 360. And I think it's for the Dreamcast 2. I don't know. What's going on, guys? Today is Saturday, November 9th, 2024. My name is Dumzo Danino. And welcome, any new viewers. Any past viewers, welcome. Again, the name is Dumzo Danino. A lot of my friends call me Gonzo. You can call me either or. I really don't care. I primarily do Let's Play videos. Um, I do play a variety of games. Um, but I've recently, I've been playing a lot of Sonic games. So if you're interested in any other Sonic games that are on my catalog, go check me out on YouTube. It is Dumzo Danino. Look at any other games that I have over there. I recently finished Sonic Adventure 1, which was also my first time playing that game. So please go check that out. Um, so I've also completed Sonic Heroes, Sonic, the original Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3, and Knuckles, and now, and then I did Sonic Adventure, like I mentioned, and now I'm at Sonic Adventure 2. Um, so yeah, guys, that's basically what Dunzo Danino is. Uh, if you're interested in anything else that, um, that I do, I also do podcasting on the side. It's not as active as the Dunzo Danino channel, but if you're interested in that, uh, go check that out. Um, the profile is linked on my YouTube channel. It's called happy hour hangouts. And then I also have another separate channel that I have yet to really get started it's more of an audiovisual creation, so it's like uh, video edits, uh, music production, and shit like that. So I haven't really dug, uh, dug too deep into that one, but that one is definitely, uh, it's, it's in the works. So hopefully um, one day I'll be able to, to do that or to get to it. Um, but yeah, guys, we're going to play some Sonic Adventure 2 today. What do I think I'm going to get out of it? Well, to be honest, I like I said, I haven't even played this game. Sonic Adventure 1 was all right. You know, for, for an older game, it was all right. Uh, I played it in 2024, um, like two months ago. So it, it was all right. Uh, I mean, it, from what I know, from my understanding, is that a lot of people on YouTube really, really love Sonic Adventure 2. It could be for a number of reasons. It could be because they're biased towards it right because it was a, a game that they played as a kid or it could generally be because it was a really good game but from my understanding uh that's kind of the nut or the the basis of why people like this game but another big component of why people really think this game is is uh groundbreaking or you know one of the better sonic games is because it's in the introduction of shadow so i don't know how that basically unfolds um or, well that's a lie so background story, guys. Um, uh, this is um, this is a retake. I was streaming yesterday, last night, and a lot of streaming shit happened. I ended up playing quite a bit of it, but I'm gonna have to redo it all. So it's technically not new to me, but at the same time, it is a new game that I've never fucking played or completed per se. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I I honestly don't know what to expect. Because if I have a really high uh, expectation of this game, and I probably shouldn't. Um, again, I, I've been gaming since I was a kid. Uh, the first console that I owned was a Sega Genesis. Then I had a PlayStation 2. And then I never really got a, another console until like 2015. And then I got the Xbox X. Or the, the one before the Series X. I don't remember. I don't know the name of it. I forget. But... Um, yeah, I mean, I've always loved playing video games. Video games has always been something that I've been very, I wouldn't say passionate about, but it's just, it was kind of in my upbringing. So I played a lot of games growing up, a lot of PlayStation 2. So all the classics I've played. Um, go check out, again, my catalog for Dunzo Danino. Uh, you'll see the games that I've, uh, I've already touched, and you'll see the games that I have quite a bit of knowledge on. And I try to give some sort of an insight. But at the end of the day, these are all let's plays to me. These aren't walkthroughs. I'm not here to teach you guys something new. No, I'm just here to play to get some uh, nostalgia out of it and all that good stuff. But 
I've never played Sonic Adventure 2. So the way that I've been seeing it is that it's really, it's the staple of the better Sonic games um, that, that were ever made. So I, again, I have a pretty high expectation, but I do understand that this game is quite old as well. So if there's shit that's in it that's outdated, I completely understand. But also, I'm going to try to bring myself back. You know, I'm going to try to bring myself back to what, when did this game came out, like the early 2000s, to that kind of mindset and the expectations of games during that, you know, because Sonic Adventure 1 was pretty crazy to me, you know, and thinking that that game is as old as it was and it looked and performed as well as it did. I was like, okay, you know, it's not that bad for that time. Now I played it and I'm like, dude, what the fuck is this? But at, at the end of the day, guys, I'm a really big retro gamer as well. I've been doing a lot of retro games recently. So I am open to new retro games and shit that's just been on my checklist for a while, a long time already. And this is definitely one of them. But I feel like this game right here is, you know, a benchmark, you know, like so a goal, right? Like this is like the end of a chapter or the start of a new one, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, guys, that pretty, that's pretty much who I am and what I do. So again, if you're new to the channel, please go over to my Twitch. Go over to my YouTube. Show some love. Check me out. Um, I uh, upload a lot of shorts throughout the week. So I try to keep in tune with you guys as far as like the best clips, the best things that I get out of these streams. And I chop them up and then I, I put them out there for the world to see. Um, but if you're into the long form content, again, welcome. Um, so comment, like, subscribe, all that great stuff. Now, for those who are um, the returning viewers, um, okay. Well, first and foremost, if you if you want to see the game already get started, just fucking skip this. Timestamps are are in the description, and I'm sure it's gonna be right here on the on the actual YouTube player itself, so just go right into it if you don't want to hear this part. But I did want to give a few little updates um, as far as, uh, you know, Dumbs of Danino and everything else that I've been working on. Because if you do not know, I, I was on a two week hiatus. Um, the first weekend that I missed, which was two weeks ago, uh, I had a UFC event that I was hosting. So I put a lot of attention to that and I just decided I'm going to take this weekend off. And on top of that, it was a weekend break from the last game that I had beat, which was Sonic Adventure 1. I typically try to give myself at least one weekend buffer before I start a new one. Sometimes I just hit it ground running. I don't really care. But this weekend, I had to do a lot of groundwork for the channel itself. Um, I mean, I don't know how well the introduction was, but I have a whole script that I generated from ChatGPT. So I was really fucking trying hard to kind of like cover all the topics but uh, i think i did a fairly decent job <laughs> but if you guys think that i butchered it i mean or it looks pretty like like something off a of teleprompter i mean it's all right i i tried eventually it'll become muscle memory and then it's gonna it, it'll come uh second nature to me um so that was that first weekend and then this past weekend uh, I have a lot of little projects, or not a lot of little projects, but I have some projects that I've been working on, one specifically that I feel like I need to get done, which um, I'm not done yet, but I, I am uh, have made a lot of progress. So I know, again, for the returning viewers, I know that I've said that I went to, I took a trip to Washington, and I went to Seattle uh, maybe a month, month and a half ago now, a month and a few weeks, let's just say that. And... um i was invited to go to a wedding uh so i went to seattle and then after that i went to there was a wedding that i had specifically gone for so um the people who got married i whenever i was talking to them they told me that they had only hired some a photographer and i'm like okay well that's cool i was like well who's taking the video and they're like oh we didn't get anybody i was like oh okay so me myself i kind of took on a small role because i wanted to not they, they're not paying me i did this because i genuinely wanted to i was very grateful that i was invited to this wedding that was way out of my hometown so i you know uh wanted to do something for them i went into this trip just thinking it was going to be a vlog which i do have a vlog side that i'm probably going to work on i don't know when i'm going to get out but i also um took a lot of camera gear i took 
a my um my dgi not it's not the action cam but it's the one with the gimbal i forget the name of it um and that's the one i did the vlog on but i also brought the um i also took a um do you guys know them as vhs cameras but i know the really big nerds they know these as um the high eight cameras right so it's basically an old style camcorder that records on on high eight this one doesn't record on high eight this one i think actually records on mini dv so it has little tape that you put in right here but you can also record it digitally through a memory card but not not a lot of people do that and i don't even think the capacity is too long but there was a specific build that i made out of this where it digitizes it pretty easily um i might put that in the description i'm not sure i don't know how curious or how much people want to know about this but shout out to i forget the guy's name but <laughs> shout out to the guy that showed me how to do this but anyways i took this and i'm trying to develop a small little wedding video for them it's gonna look super cool like super old school super 90s ish and things like that so i've been working on that um also by the way here's the camera within itself if you guys were interested in it it is the digital handycam dcr tr v17 so this the reason why i took this one because it's really small it's really portable and compact I have another one that's actually a high eight, but that motherfucker is huge. So, and obviously if I'm flying there, TSA and my luggage and all that shit, it was better for me to, to take that, the smaller one. Um, so yeah, that's what basically I've been doing the last two weekends, but there's one more big fucking thing that I, I want to talk about. And I know that if you know me, if you know who I am, you guys know I'm not a I wouldn't call myself a diehard sports fan, but I definitely like watching sports. And last weekend, or well now it's almost two weeks, but last weekend I went to a specific event because a little a little team known as the Los Angeles Dodgers won the World Series. Boom. So I went to, or I, I attended all the festivities that happened in LA for uh, that Friday. Because on, okay, so they won the World Series last Tuesday. And then last Friday, uh, they had the parade. Fucking madness, guys. I'm going to pull up some videos right now just to kind of show you guys how it was and things like that. But it was fucking crazy, to say the least. The parade itself had over 100,000 people. But aside from that, they also had an event for uh the team themselves basically like the the celebration ceremony and things like that so um whenever they announced this i was thinking to myself well fuck dude like what should i go to you know because on the post it said it's not really feasible to go to both my mind i was like you're full of shit i can make it happen but now that i really reflect on it i was like i glad i chose one because it was fucking hectic it was nuts, guys. Closures everywhere. People everywhere. People running up, up and down the streets. It was pretty wild. So, at the parade itself, there was, again, 100,000 people that attended to that. So, <clears throat> um, and I've been to parades before. Whenever I decide, or whenever I was thinking if I wanted to go to the parade, the parade or the ceremony, I thought a lot about comfortability. I thought about you know uh the biggest bang for the buck quote unquote although the parade is free i would have to go four or five hours early just to be there stand in line or not stand in line but you know get a good spot and then from there i would have to wait the fucking time right and the way that i was thinking about it is like again i've, I've been to parades and these parades they have multiple like floats multiple vehicles multiple this multiple that right just going down the the main street and i thought about it and i was like but this isn't a regular parade this isn't like a christmas parade there's not going to be a bunch of floats there's not going to be this it's just literally going to be the teams on two buses so then i thought about it and i was like you know what i think it's probably best to go to the actual ceremony because you get a seat you're not on a time crunch you can get fucking alcohol and you're literally there at the very end to see the speeches so I thought to myself, fuck it, we're going to go to it. Um, it was not free. 
so i did have to pay uh i went to it but i'm very glad i fucking went to it just to be able to experience that just to be able to be a part of that that's what really truly mattered to me you think about uh people's life right it's hard to think that some people throughout their life they've never seen their team win a championship there's a lot of teams out there i don't know about mlb but i know that there's some for nfl and some other teams too that have never won a championship and there they have a pretty loyal fan base as well and i'm just like fuck dude like i gotta be able to you know understand that them winning another world series is possibly not gonna happen you know the odds of it they might because they have a really stacked team and they have a lot of uh good players but the realistic part of it is like you really just got to enjoy it as it comes because i don't know shit i might not even live to see you know the next year they might not win ever uh, they might not win a championship ever again you know you talk about whenever they had their little run in 2017 and i think they went again in 2019 i believe to the world series or 2018 when they lost to the red sox and then you know then they go and they win the the championship in 2020 which everybody discredited you know as as a fan i was like fuck yeah we got the 2020 championship but nobody really credited it and i was like okay well fuck okay i understand it was during covid and x y and z but now people can't say shit they literally went through the whole season beat everybody and they came up on top so there's a lot of props to be given to dave roberts because he's one of the uh ogs of it all um but i'm just very happy for the team i'm very happy for the culture i'm very happy for you know any other fan that was able to really experience it because prior to the 2020 mickey mouse championship that people like to uh claim it to be they won i believe in 1986 or 1983 i i I don't remember let me see i'm actually gonna fact check that because i don't want to say this and not know but i i know it was i know it was in the 80s last or dodger world series wins and i think this is their eighth one so 1988 uh yeah 1988 i was actually wrong so before 2020 and before a legit championship they the last one that they won was in 1988 i wasn't even fucking born yet you know that was seven years before i was born you know and whenever they won the championship whenever they had the parade everything like i said no i need to fucking go and boy am i glad that i fucking went so again if you're don't care about any of this just fucking skip do whatever you want i don't care but i this is something that i wanted to share with you guys because um uh i mean i went to it so let me show you guys real quick um i'm pop this up on the break screen just give me a sec i want to show you guys uh, the ex- my own personal recordings and my experience at the um, celebration itself. So let me. <clears throat> all right, let me minimize all this. I don't want you guys to see too much. But all right, here we go, guys. Oh wait. No, I don't want you guys to see that either. But. All righty, there we go. All right, guys, so this was my experience over at the Dodger celebration ceremony that they had at Dodger Stadium after they won the World Series. So we found this spot. You guys hear that? Yeah. So we found this. This was probably about an hour or two prior to the event starting. So we went to this um, over to the park. And I want to say, correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say this is where they shot a scene in one of the Fast and the Furious movies whenever they were overlooking L.A. I think it was right here. I could be wrong. Uh, For all I know, it was a green screen. But I wanted to come here and check it out for myself. So right here, you get the city, um, the skyline of L.A., Citibank, um, the tower right there. And there's a helicopter over here somewhere. And then right here is a really nice view of, of Dodger Stadium. So... Again, this was probably two or three hours prior to the event starting. But if you zoom, if you kind of see over here, like there's um, there's already cars and and people parked. And the reason what because of that was because they had already let the gates open. The the uh, event itself did still, or the parade itself 
still hadn't had started but the the gates and then all the doors they were already open you can see little specks of people right there too so yeah it was pretty dope let that video play for you guys um then the next video that i want to show you guys is an actual video of the ceremony itself so whenever i say that this fucking ceremony was crazy i mean it was crazy and look guys i've been to a lot a lot of events in my lifetime i've been to concerts i've been to fucking ufc events i've been to a lot of shit until i went to the dodger celebration i think the craziest event that i had went to was bad bunnies un verano sin ti um tour like it, it was a, the concert tour in in las vegas and he had two events back to back the reason why i say for me that was one of the craziest things is like i never seen so many people in one location singing songs that this guy made the amount of people that were there, it was 80,000. That thing was fucking packed. Packed as fuck. And everybody knew his music. Just to be able to get that many people in one location at one time with the artist himself and being able to sing along with him was insane. Goosebumps. The entire concert, guys. I'm not fucking kidding. Now, you think about that and... Um, well, how the fuck does that compare to this? This compares to it on a different scale. Because you really got to think about it. Whenever I went to that concert for Bad Bunny, like I said, he did back-to-back -back events. And he had a bunch of stadium tours throughout the U.S. and I think some in Mexico. This, on the other hand, this is literally the celebration. The celebration of, um, of the Dodgers winning. So that's what you got to think about it, too. This is literally the celebration of the Dodgers going on to win the World Series. Not only was the city of Los Angeles watching this parade and ceremony, not only was L.A. County watching it, not only was SoCal watching this, not only was the entire West Coast and all of California watching this, the whole U.S. is watching this. But it doesn't even stop there. We have a lot of foreign players, too, that have a lot of people um, or a lot of. Uh, a lot. We have a lot of foreign players that have their own fan base from back home. Yamamoto, Otani. I'm sure where their hometown's at, all of them were watching, too. So in my the way that I thought about it, this is a moment in time where everybody's watching. And even more so, where I really, what's the word, acknowledge that, was in this next video that I'm going to play. So watch, check this out, guys. So, so before I start, or let me play it and then we'll, we'll talk about it. Here's my little cup. Oh, you know what, before I start... I actually have that cup right here. I have it with some ice because I am fucking very happy that the Dodgers won. So here's the cup that we got. And I decided I got a little bit of whiskey left. Pour that shit in there. Finish the bottle. And I got some uh, fake ass Coke. Some Summit Cola Diet, shout out all these for keeping their prices low. And I wanted to celebrate, man. I wanted to celebrate the Dodgers. I wanted to celebrate the culture. I wanted to celebrate life and the ability to be able to have gone to this event. Um, but let me show you guys what I mean as far as how much how crazy this fucking event was. So. It was pretty full right at this point already. It was supposed to be packed. But look, this is the part that really... I thought about it and I was like, I, like this is fucking crazy to me. So much media coverage. So much, um, you know, uh, news outlets that were covering this from fucking maybe all over the world for all I know. So there's one helicopter. Two helicopters. 
three helicopters right uh, behind the that stadium light. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I think there was one more over there. So there's a there was a total of seven helicopters, guys. I think if I if that looks right to me, I think that's one right there. There's literally seven fucking helicopters covering this event. That is fucking insane. So again, not not only were we watching or like locals watching, sports fans watching, like the whole fucking world was watching this shit. So again, I was very fortunate to be able to um, go to this uh, event. And the last video that I wanted to show you guys from this whole uh, little event was just them uh, walking or entering. And yes, of course, you guys know we're f this is an L.A. team. This is West Coast. The only real upbeat L.A. song that represents L.A. is Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us. So they definitely fucking play that shit there. Shout out Drake, though. I've been to a Drake concert. I don't have any problems with that. But this is the video of them actually entering. Yep, so there you have it guys um again man shout out the dodgers shout out to them for winning it um more than thankful for that and the ability to have gone to this event so cheers to the dodgers 2024 world series champs let's fucking go guys Oh my god, that's fucking strong. Um, I feel like there was something else that I was going to show you guys too. But yeah, guys, again, if you guys don't want to fucking, if you guys don't care about this, just go ahead and skip. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, guys, that that pretty much fucking that was the whole experience. It's it's really cr oh, and I also got little confetti pieces as well. <laughs> so you see those little confetti things i actually got them right here and the reason why i got them was you know kind of to uh, because i was there at the event but this little thing right here i also got a new memorabilia so this right here is basically like a glove that holds a ball and this is the one from the world series of 2020 but i got the new one for 2024 and i'm gonna put that confetti in there alongside with the ball so yeah, I can't um, wait till that comes in. I don't know when the fuck that shit's supposed to come in, but whenever it comes in, I'm going to put it there and I'll stream it as well. Um, but yeah, guys, that, that, that whole experience within itself was fucking nuts. Again, I'm very grateful, very thankful that I was able to attend to it and be a part of it. So if you haven't seen the event, you could probably search it up on YouTube and you can uh, watch it. Um, yeah, it's it pretty crazy. Um... So yeah, that pretty much uh, does it as far as me updating you guys. Fucking half an hour into this shit. Holy fuck. Um, as far as like other channel updates, I don't have too much. So uh, I'm supposed to do another podcast. Not this weekend, but next weekend. So keep an eye out for that. I'll probably talk about it next week and remind you guys. Probably talk about it for the rest of the parts too. Um, but yeah, guys, let's get right into this shit. Let's get right into what you guys came here for. You guys didn't come here to hear me talk about the Dodgers and me glazing them and shit like that. Although I'm very happy that they won. You guys don't. You guys didn't fucking come come to hear that. You guys came to watch me fucking play this Sonic Adventure too. You know, the game that I've never played before, a game that everybody glazes, a game that till this day people still say that it's the best Sonic game that's ever come out for any console. Is it true, or is it not? Let's find that. Let's find that shit out right now, guys. Part number one, Sonic Adventure two. Let's fucking get right into it. Oh. Oh, and also too, guys, if you guys are new here, I like to drink on stream, and I actually have a beer counter of how many beers it takes me to beat the game. So. So, I already poured myself a drink. Uh, we'll hit the meter and we'll get one in. Hey, give me another beer, bitch! Over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. 
We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured hedgehog aboard. Over. That's a 10 4. Cargo secured on board and. What? Then copy that cargo is over. gone. <coughs> Why the fuck is he, um, <clears throat> why is he, why was he held captive to begin with, in all honesty, because whenever I was playing this shit the, uh, yesterday, uh, in my failed stream, I saw that they fucking held him captive, but for what, what did he fucking do, did he fucking kill somebody? Oh shit. don't know how the fuck this actually works for Sonic. This motherfucker got a piece of a helicopter and he's riding it like a damn snowboard in San Francisco on some fucking asphalt. How does that make sense? Please tell me. Alright. Oh, fuck. Why the fuck wasn't there a platform there? That's some bullshit. No! Now I gotta start from the beginning. But you see, this motherfucker... He's on a fucking... Like, the wing of the helicopter or some shit. And he's riding it like a snowboard. Down the street. On some asphalt. Yeah, and something that I noted yesterday too, during the stream that I was having, is it sounds like these, this group that's singing, this band that's singing, it sounds like they're the the same band that did uh, some of the music for Sonic Heroes. Pretty cool. No, I fucking. Ugh. Why is this happening to me? Some bullshit. Also, two guys. Oh, fuck. How does this make sense? These cars are like weightless to Sonic. Those cars at least weigh fucking five to six thousand pounds each. And this motherfucker just running right through them. Sonic weighs no more than 40 pounds himself. So already this game's not making any sense. I don't want to fall in there again and lose more lives. There we go, there's a checkpoint. Oh, 
<laughs> so I'm assuming that just oh fuck. I'm assuming that this mission is just uh, primarily to um. Primarily for like a tutorial ish kind of maybe. Is this the part where the semi comes out? Oh. Uh, yeah, I have a whole other story about that semi. Oh, fuck. No, oh, don't fucking die again. Here we go. All right, guys. So look at the fucking size. Look at the fucking size of that semi. That fucking semi is as big as buildings. It's almost 10 times the size of your normal car. And why is it going this fast down the street of San Fran? Chasing Sonic of all people. If I was Sonic, I'd just turn myself in. Just go to jail, man. Fuck it. Oh, there's the end. Yes! <sighs> huh. No problem. A D? A D for fucking Dumzo Danino. Let's go, guys. Tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay. Bring it on. Roger through Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. Intruder has been located. Copy that. All right. Yeah, this guy's pretty easy. Oh my god. I'm supposed to wait after the dumbass closes his little rocket doors. No, wait, wait, Sonic, wait, wait. Now you can get in there. No, oh, what the fuck?
I thought I was gonna destroy him by now. Time to get another beer going. Oh, this is where you meet Shadow. It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald. Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. Ah. Where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake head on. Control. Fuck Sonic. Just turn yourself in. Take it to court. Go to trial. Call your lawyer. Hey, it's Knuckles. Fuck Knuckles. Eggman! I didn't think I'd see you around. Fucking Eggman. <laughs> Not quite. All right, hit it. You're number two. Hey, give me another beer, bitch. What was that all about? And look what you did to my animal. I did that to prevent the master animal from being. Stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. <sighs> I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, bad girl. I say Knuckles just fucks her. Why not? Um, so real quick though, I wanted to circle back on that cutscene. I'm trying to get really better at not, you know, commentating over cutscenes and shit like that. I'm trying to make it more about the game and less about what I have to say, because I say a lot of stupid shit. But going back to what's the encounter with Sonic and, and um, Shadow, from my understanding, is that skill for skill, you know, just straight up. Sonic beats Shadow on everything. Shadow has these gliders. He can't run for shit. Without those gliders, he, he's, he ain't shit. And all the other skills that are involved, Sonic beats him. What makes Shadow very dangerous and such a big battle to Sonic and why they compare, <clears throat> it's because Shadow actually knows how to use the Chaos Emeralds. And not that Sonic doesn't, but Shadow knows how to tap into that, the potential of the Chaos Emeralds, right? So that's why whenever they always encounter, it's always like a slugfest. Because Shadow fucking always has a Chaos Emerald for whatever reason on him. But without that, he ain't shit. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that. But let's get right back into this. Um, yeah, Knuckles, just uh, hook up with Rogue the Bat. Oh yeah, then fucking Knuckles get some weird ass hip hop music. I don't know why they did that. And it's literally about him. It's fucking kind of cringe, but 
I mean, it is what it is. No! Yeah, I'm not trying to complete... What is that? That's a life? Yeah, it was a life. Um, what else is here? I never really explored it like that. I always just went up there. No! No! What the fuck? I'm surprised you didn't die, Knuckles. Damn, falling from like over a hundred feet like that? Skydiving, basically? Where is... CDX Marcelo. Yo, good evening. What's up, my boy? How you doing today? We're just out here playing some Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, believe it or not, this is my first time playing it. Ever. Kind of. Yesterday I was doing a stream and my audio was really unsynced for whatever reason. I think I fixed it now. But a lot of these first missions I've done, but overall this is my first time actually playing the game. Yeah, it's 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 my first time legitly playing this game. Now, okay, so CDX Marcelo, I'm assuming you got you found me because you wanted to see somebody play this game, right? The audio is pretty good today. Perfect. I took me like two hours to fix it, so I think I think I got it good. But I'm assuming you found me or you wanted to watch me play because of this game, right? From somebody that's never played the game before to what I assume you you've played this game already, why is this game still being talked about today as the best Sonic game that's ever been made for a console? Because for my personal research, that's what I've been reading. That's what a lot of people have been saying. I think uh, Critical, uh, I forget I forget his real name. I think his name's Charlie. But I remember he made a video maybe like two years ago or, or something like that saying that uh, this game is still like the best Sonic game that's ever been made. Oh, it's right here. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. How do I dig? Oh. Uh, the last one's over here. I remember it's at. Too bad. C ring. Fuck, I said C rank and my phone thought I said Siri. Yeah, it is one of the most fondly remembered side by side with Sonic, Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Sonic Generations in that regard, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, so I actually, um, the very first console that I ever had growing up was the Sega Genesis. And the first game I actually had on it was Sonic 2. So, and then I also played Sonic 1 as well. Uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I didn't play that one until like two months ago. Um, I have it on my YouTube channel if you're curious to watch that. Um, that was my first time playing Son Sonic and, um, and Knuckles, so. But the original games are really good. I fucking got roasted really bad though, um, cause whenever I was clipping out the, the first Sonic and the second Sonic, uh, I was, uh, you know, just highlighting certain spots of the playthrough and a lot of people were grilling me because they said that I didn't know how to play the game. And I'm like, okay, well, I didn't know you guys were that butthurt over it, but... Oh great, here's fucking Tails, here to save the day. Oh fuck, for real, he has to actually gonna save the day. Oh 
No, Tails. I give Tails an A for effort, but he's like the most useless character in this, in all of Sonic, in my opinion. <clears throat> notice your surprise. Notice you surprised you didn't die from fall back there. So this game has no damage whatsoever. Exactly. Yeah. What the fuck? I fucking fall from like a hundred feet up and nothing happened to me. Um. Oh shit! All right, Eggman's here to fucking fight. Yeah, just, just spam the fuck out of him. Perfect. Guard down. <laughs> uh, pretty much no Sonic game has fall damage. Oh. Not even the new ones? Well, I mean, it makes sense. If there was fall damage, why the fuck would they even inc incorporate? I feel like the... The, um... The gamer would be pretty, be pretty upset. Go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Shut the fuck up, Eggman. I'll beat your ass any time of the day, 24/7, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So what's up, CDX Marcelo? What you doing today? How's your How's your day been so far? Amy, how many times do we gotta fucking tell you Sonic isn't focused on no bitch right now? He's out saving the world. Prison lane. Okay, so this is the intro mission, I think, for Tails. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna see how fast I can I can beat this. I'm no speedrunner in any regards, but I'm gonna see how fast I can get through this. I feel like a lot of people who are still very involved in this in these like retro Sonic games and the community itself, it's just the, it's all the the, the speedrunners. Dude, those guys, those guys are just the different breed of humans, man. I'd be watching some of their fucking, their, uh, their little playthroughs, and dude, they get through the fucking games fucking fast. <clears throat> uh, I'll read your, uh, your comment right now, give me a sec, or your chat. Uh, some people just get angry for no reason, lol, why would someone give you shit for not being the best player ever in their favorite game? Dude, <laughs> so uh, just uh, I invite you to just go to my YouTube and just look at the shorts that I made for um, for Sonic. I think it was Sonic 2 or Sonic 1. So basically, there was a part where I was jumping from like one platform to another, and I got pinned. You know how how there's like um, I don't know if you played Sonic 1 or 2 or any of the OG Sonic games, but there's like platforms that move up and down like this. And I jumped from one platform to you know, to another when it was moving, and I got I got pinched right in between both platforms, and I died. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? Like this is bullshit. And I threw that up um, as a as a clip on YouTube, and dude, people were grilling the fuck out of me. They're like, oh, this is skill issue, and they're like, bro, you suck. Like, oh, you should have you should have known this and that. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Like, I'm just. I mean, it happens. It's a part of the game, but I. I mean, it's bullshit. So, it is what it is. I don't pay attention too much to what the comments or any hate shit. So, the premise of my gaming style is literally just to just a casual gamer. I just like to play games that I haven't played. I like to play games that I have played whenever I was a kid and just just relive those moments, the nostalgia. So. That's just my gaming style. It's, re it's really casual. I mean, shit. I'm fucking drinking beer. I'm drinking beer on stream, talking shit. Like, it, it's not. It's not. It's not too deep. I really don't care though. <sighs> Some people need to understand the meaning of "it's just the game." Honestly. 
it's because <clears throat> I feel like people are under the impression that if you're playing these older games right now, it's probably because you've been playing these games like forever. <laughs> and that's a perfect example of it. I didn't fucking know I was gonna die. Why is Tails calling out for Sonic whenever he dies though? Like, bitch, you're, you're dead. <laughs> Sonic isn't gonna help you. <laughs> I don't even know why this platform is here, though. Oh, it's probably just to get that, huh? I remember seeing this uh, in yesterday whenever I was playing the game. Uh, whenever I had all those audio issues and I never, I didn't fucking know how to get this little pony right here. I guess we'll never know, man. Uh, my internet is kind of shady and I'm multitasking Twitch. Just so you know, if I come and go every now and then. Oh, bro, you're good, man. It's, um, you're invited to come back and chat me up whenever you want. So, not a big deal to me. Is that last guy? I remember I saw somebody. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I recently had to um, ask my internet provider for a new, <coughs> a new router because the one that I had it kept like, um, I did it. like cutting internet and shit like throughout the night. It was weird. But for the most part, I think it's already the issue has already been addressed. So I gotta do better next time. Yeah, I haven't time. had any frame drops either. Well, uh, anyway, CDX Marcelo, if you're still here, man, cheers to you. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I'm very laid back whenever it comes to people uh, coming in just chatting me up. I mean, huh? I'm not super sensitive when it comes to the chat. I mean, I'm sure you saw my guidelines, like. No shit, Rose. How'd you get here? Well, if you gotta know, I caught a ride with Tail. Are you sure you don't need my help? It looks like you could use it. The reason I'm in here is because of that fake hedgehog. You mean that black hedgehog? Did you see it? Where is it now? If I tell you, will you marry me? No <laughs> way. What? what? I what kind of bullshit ass fucking uh, agreement is that, Amy? You're stupid as fuck. That black hedgehog came here with Dr. Eggman. So, Eggman's behind this, huh? What's all that writing on the wall anyway? Did you write that? Wait for me, Sonic! He's such a brat sometimes. Cheers to you too. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, buddy. Um. So CDX Marcelo, do you uh, are you a streamer too, or are you just um, a viewer? Oh yeah. Out of all three uh, types of stages between Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails, I really enjoy Sonic's because it's very fast-paced. And it makes it seem like you're doing a lot. Have you tried using the light to collect all the rings to 
Where's the shoes at? Don't you get the light? Oh, yeah, there they are. Yes, 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 I know. I'm not gonna lie though, this game is, is really polished when it comes to the ring dash. Because if this was Sonic Heroes, I highly doubt I'd be able to do it that smoothly. God damn it, come on. Also, I've, <clears throat> I've, I don't even know what all these little fucking gem or these little neon uh, vials are for. And whenever you collect um, the animals and shit, I never really understood what those shits were for either. It's like some Animal Crossing shit. Stupid ass. Come on, Sonic. That was too easy. Hmm. Alright, I'm done with this beer. Let's get the next one going. Ain't no stopping. Ain't no stopping till the panties start dropping. So. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> Yeah, don't die, Sonic. Let me let me get the the, the next beer going. All right, hit it. Hey, give me another beer, bitch. Um, about Amy, she's obsessive fangirl, always in love with Sonic. Kind of gal situation where Sonic keeps running away from her. Don't you think that's so weird how that happens? Like with the with like a, a man and woman relationship. <laughs> because biologically men are the the seekers they're the ones that approach the woman so whenever you have a girl that approaches a man for whatever reason it's a turn off it's weird b b what the fuck made it in what regards did i get an e some bullshit That's why if I tell you, will you marry me? No, I mean, I get it. I, I, I'm very familiar with Amy and who she is. Uh-oh. That blue hedgehog again of all places. I found you, Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh, you're not even good enough to be I'll my make you eat those words. All right, this should be easy. Just, I need a ring. I need a ring. I can't start engaging without a ring. Hey, don't fall off. Don't fall off. I said don't fall off, and that's what you do, Sonic. Fuck. But for the record, though, I actually, as a kid, I really like Shadow. As an adult, I think he's a little horny. Oh my god. There's no time to play games. It's supposed to be a comic relief in games. Well, that's true. How? Oh, okay, got him there. All right, so wait till he attacks. Oh, that's easy. That was way too easy. I'm not a streamer, by the way. I only play games and sometimes watch them. You should stream, dude. I mean, shit. Anybody who, who enjoys playing games, I always try to push them to, to stream. 
I was the same way. I was exactly the same way. I never really thought. <laughs> Why is Shadow's mouth open? Yeah, I was I was the same way too, man. Like, I didn't start streaming till like 2021, but I'm not super consistent. For the most part, where I get a lot of pop is on YouTube. I just use Twitch as a platform for me to be able to <coughs> record the videos and then upload them on YouTube and chop them up and edit them. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, the way I look at it is like, <coughs> if you're playing games, you know, try to uh, use that to your own advantage. That way you don't feel like you're just wasting your time just playing games. Because I would get that feeling a lot. I, I think I've said this in previous uh, streams that I would, I would get that a lot. I'd get the feeling of whenever I play a game, yeah, I'd get the satisfaction of, you know, playing the game. But then as an adult, I also got the feeling of like, fuck, dude, I'm just, I wasted like two to three hours of my life. What, what, what could have, what could have I done with that time? So I was like, well, let me try to make something out of it. So that's why I started. Because first and foremost, I do this because of the games, for the love of the games, for the love of um, playing new games and all that good stuff. Secondary, it's obviously for the fans and everybody that um, that tunes in and shit. Fuck! So I figured, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start streaming and shit. And I'm gonna try to make something out of it. But also to that effect, whenever I was a kid, well, I wasn't that much. Whenever I was a teenager, I actually had a YouTube channel, a gaming YouTube channel like this with uh, my cousin. But <clears throat> he wasn't as dedicated as I was. So then we ended up just uh, parting ways. I mean, he, he's still a, a close cousin of mine, but we just ended up uh, stopped. We just stopped uh, streaming is basically what I'm saying. And also, too, the, the uh, one of my friends, um, one of my longtime uh, high school buddies, he he um, he's the one that gave me the name. I don't know why the fuck they uh, they gave me the name Dumzo Danino, but a lot of my friends or all of my friends they call me Gonzo. So that's where. Um, I kind of get the the name Dumzo from because they would call me Gonzo and then I do dumb shit and then they call me Dumzo and then one of my friends just said like oh fucking Dumzo Danino and I was like hey I kind of like that so then I use that as my my streamer name I guess um yes I tried to stream once but I didn't have the patience to config all the stuff but I don't feel at all wasting time when I'm playing gaming. When I'm gaming, I'm pretty comfortable with not being productive at all times. You know, and that's fine, no right? Problem. That that's like the idea of being just a a, um, a gamer within itself. So I just, for whatever reason, I got that feeling. You know, I felt like I I could do something with this. Probably not the. It's probably not the feeling of that I'm wasting my time. It was probably more so the feeling of, fuck. Why don't I try streaming? Why don't I try making something out of this? Right. So, I have moments when I'm being productive and times where I'm just having stupid fun, which is good. Whenever you're fucking working, obviously you need you need some time to decompress. So, oh, I fucking hate this mission. I have to hurry and find the master emerald. I don't remember where any of the fucking the crystals are. Oh well, I got the claws.
But you know what? To be fair, in all honesty, though, I've always wanted to try to make something out of, like, gaming. Like, gaming was always uh, a big thing to me. Since I was a kid, you know, throughout my whole life, I've always wanted to try to find something. Or I've always tried to do something with gaming for the most part. And I was like, if I can make money off of this, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Come on, man. There you go. Where's the first crystal at? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, there it is. Nice. All right, let's go find the next one. Uh, come on, get up there. The idea is that one gets good at searching for them. So it's always at random, huh? Because I feel like whenever... If I remember correctly, the, the stage previously where you started watching me uh, with Knuckles, that specific stage, I want to say that... Um, where the crystal locations were, this time around, were where they were at whenever I played this game yesterday. And this game took me a long, or this this specific um, this specific uh, mission, it took me a while to find all of them. Okay, well I'm already getting traces for the next one, which is good. <clears throat> What is this? This place looks familiar. So it's not up here. Oh, oh, okay. So it's probably on the other side of this. Oh, okay. Alright, one more, one more. No, they are placed differently than yesterday. That's what it seems like, because the second one, I think I had to dig for it, and this time it was in a fucking. This time it was in a fucking, um, in one in like a weird case. So, um, there's a pool of possible locations, and the game picks picks up three of them every time you level. See, I didn't know that. Again, it's my first time playing this fucking game. Like, I didn't fucking know that. I thought it was just like, oh, they they all place them in similar locations each and every time. This is true for all knuckle stages. Well, fuck. What do these little balls do? I know that it brings out the train, but I, it doesn't really help me. <laughs> oh, fuck. You see what I mean? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Ah. Mm. 
<clears throat> yeah, I guess so. Thought of giving you a heads up. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's right here. I found it. All right, just don't die now. Oh, it's right here. See, I gotta see, and then this one I gotta dig for. Perfect. I found him. Not too bad. I'll take it. Not too bad. Yeah, exactly. A C rank for these type of missions, especially because I don't know where any of the these uh piece of emerald are at. I'll take it. <clears throat> Saving chaos data. <laughs> it's Eggman. Lend me your ears and listen to me, America. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist, and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now witness the beginning of the greatest <laughs> empire of all time. <laughs> yeah, he blows up the fucking moon or something. Something stupid. So in 23 hours, what's gonna happen is just blow up the rest of the fucking planet or um. Look, the moon. Half of the moon is gone. Eggman, oh, that creep <clears throat> never gives up. But how did he manage to harness all that energy? It's got chaos emeralds. Yeah, that's the reason they were looking for him. Oh, tails. Tails. Fuck yeah. You know what? Shout out Tails. This will actually came through once. It's always us trying to help Tails out, but now he's helping us out. Fuck yeah. And why the fuck are the cops still after Sonic? Oh, one thing that I was gonna add is it seems like for these characters, they put um, that movie detection motion shit where they put all the balls on somebody's body because they have very natural motions they don't have um they don't have um like weird animated motions so that's pretty dope especially for a game like this so i'll, I'll give them their flowers for that one uh also too for the record for those that are watching on youtube for homeboy cdx marcelo this is where I left off, or this is where I stopped in the last, the first time that I tried playing this game. So everything from here on out, I don't know anything. It's all new to me. I don't think that was supposed to happen, so. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, Tails, jump over that. There you go.
No! Fuck! So close. Alright, see this part, I don't know how the fuck to get over. Clearly. No! Where the fuck is the booster at? Is it in these boxes? Or, oh, it's maybe over here. Yeah! The booster. This allows you to hover when you hold down a button during their jump. I held down a. What the fuck? No! Please don't tell me I start over. Alright. <laughs> I dead ass thought I was gonna start from the beginning. Thank God, man. Thank God. I would have been pretty pissed if I would have had to start from the very beginning. That was bullshit, though. Alright, I need a fucking ring. Ah, fuck, I always miss it. Alright, let's get the... I have the booster. Oh, you double. It's like a double jump. Okay, I got it. Lost all lives? <laughs> Unfortunately, I did. Fucking stupid. Ah. Do I get on that? Okay. okay, what tails? You keep seeing okay. Wanted? What the fuck? Tails is wanted? That's what's up, dude. Oh shit, okay, I'm dead. Oh wait, no, I'm not. Fucking tails. Oh, I have to do that shit all over again. Damn, look at tails. He's a fucking, he's a rebel. He's on the wanted list. America's most wanted. Oh my god, again? I wish Tails robots can fucking run a little faster. Oh wait, it's because my health is low, that's why. Oh my god. Yeah, I need fucking rings. Uh, 
okay us? I don't know if I know, I don't know if I know what you said. Ooh, damn it! Stop fucking dying, Tilt. That's a gorilla right there. Looks like a gorilla. I don't know what it was. Okay, are for your combos. Oh, oh, with the missiles, huh? Why there's so many earthquakes? What the fuck? Ooh, damn. Oh, dude, I'm gonna. His fucking machine's gonna go to shit right now. in right now. Oh, there's a goal. Fuck it. Thank God. You can't be fucking serious right now, dude. That was... You guys know that was bullshit. That was some fucking horse shit. Come on. Why does Tails have like a health bar for his fucking for his robot? Uh, whatever. At least I wasn't too far out. Yeah, I'm gonna just fucking get right in there. I don't care. I did it. There are yeah combos, okay combos, etc. I don't know if I've ever gotten it. Yeah, this is probably an E for sure. Watch, well, didn't say E. I gotta Whatever. do better next time. You and me both, Tails. All right, that's beer number three. Let's get on to the next one. Hey, give me another beer, bitch. The fuck's that noise? Crystal right there. Okay. <laughs> I guess I cheated the system there. I'll take it. There's a. Uh... I'll take that. But why the fuck does Knuckles always have hip hop songs for his stages? If you throw the switch, what switch? Thank you. 
Soma there. What the fuck? Didn't I get to it earlier? Hold up. I need to get that third switch and then come back or go back down. It's on this side somewhere. Mm. 
Fuck! Okay. This is a part where I start hating these games. It's too much thinking. to level one Show me that door though. That's the lowest one. I don't want to go down that low. I might have to though. Something new? Yeah, I don't know if, uh, if that helped me much. to be like another level that puts it even higher. Is this? Oh no. Oh, it's somewhere around here. I know there's one more. There has to be one more. I think it's safe to say that I'm fucking stuck. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh! 
Okay. Yes. Fuck yeah. All right. Where? Where's it at? It's above me. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's that little shit that had it. All right. Cool. Damn, I didn't know they had these little uh, contraptions and shit everywhere. How do I get out? to the base level is yeah going to one where the fuck is it there we go three we come back down Let me guess, there's gonna be another little fucking... Okay. Another, like, hidden row or something. Mm. Right, how the fuck did I get out of here? try harder <laughs> yeah we do know those, those missions suck i'm not a big fan of those specific missions that shit at least took me like 25 minutes Alrighty guys, I think I might stop it right here. I just want to see if there's any cutscenes after this. In the capital city. Sheesh. There always seems to be a lot of police around when you don't need them. Tails, any news yet? For some reason, I'm not getting a signal from the six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the Emeralds into outer space. Outer space? Hey guys, <laughs> long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the bitch, master, you're climbing out of a fucking sewer system. What do you mean? Where are we anyway? Hey, where are you going? Move aside, Knuckle. I managed to find Are you traumatized? Yes, dude, I fucking hate it. So how much did you suffer in this game's water stage? It fucking sucked, dude. It took me too long. It took me like 25 minutes. She was ass. We can trace the call to find Eggman. Okay, let's meet up there. Hey, wait for me, Tails. No, Tails, fuck Amy. Just leave her ass there.
Route 101. The president. The president. All right. I think I'm gonna stop it right there, guys. Um. So yeah. So far, not too bad. I mean, I'm glad that I was able to fix the issue that I had uh, previously from um, the last part. So we're smooth sailing right now, guys. Um. So yeah, guys. I don't have too much more to say. Shout out to CDX Marcelo. Thank you for stopping by. Um, <clears throat> to everybody else that's watching this on YouTube, make sure to head over to my Twitch. Check me out there. Um, give me a follow. All that good stuff. Tune in to me or tune in whenever I stream and chat me up. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, head over to my YouTube channel. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the dealio. Until then, guys. Peace. And fucking chicken grease. I'll catch you guys in part number two of Sonic Adventure 2 for the Xbox 360. See you guys on the next one. And shout out to uh, CDX Marcelo, buddy. Thank you for stopping by.